Hey Glam Fam, Lynn Wood here and today I'm going to be showing you how to comb coil on this head of hair here. As always you want to begin on freshly cleansed and conditioned hair and we're going to begin by putting a little bit of leave-in conditioner in the hair before I begin. Now usually I would do this all over the head but I'm only going to be showing you on this section here so I don't want to waste product nor do I want to waste your time. So we're going to go ahead and just hop right in. Always emulsifying that product in my hands prior to applying it. I only use a small amount just because we're working on a very small section here, but of course you can apply as liberally as you would like. I would recommend, especially if you're working with this mannequin, to utilize moisturizing products, or if you're working with someone that has naturally moisture deficient hair that you're utilizing a good degree of moisturizing products as well. Uh, just for reference, the leave-in conditioner that I'm using in this instance is by uh, Dollar Curl Club. It is their uh, maintenance leave-in conditioner. It's surprisingly good, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and begin once I've got that leave-in in there by just ensuring that this section is detangled by stretching that hair first. Uh, you don't ever want to just go straight in from root to scalp and rip through. Always make sure that hair is detangled and the more you keep that hair stretched, the easier it is to detangle that hair uh, from there. If someone is really tender-headed, you can take a whole section of hair and ponytail it and that way you can kind of go through from ends to scalp without pulling individually on there. That's just a little power tip for you. All right, once we go from there, I'm gonna place a styler on there. And this instance, I'm going to be using a wrapping foam. This one is by Eben. I absolutely enjoy this wrapping foam. As you can see, I use quite a bit of it, but if I run out, don't worry, I've got a backup bottle. So uh, this one is their moisturizing foaming wrap. So they have a volumizing and a standard one. I'm just gonna put it, and then we'll just put a pump and a half there. I don't think I should need a ton for this size section. Working it through that hair. The reason why I love it is the texture that it gives this hair for you to work on and it helps to add to some slip. It also gives it a really nice degree of shine once it's dry. Um, they also have a setting lotion that's lovely. So once I've coated that hair, I'm going to go ahead and just take a standard rat tail comb and we're going to part out a size section here. Um, typically the style that we're doing you'll see a lot of times people will do for starter locks things like that so you would typically want to go around this size maybe a little larger depending on the coil pattern or the fabric of that person's hair uh, in this instance i'm going to be working with about half an inch by half an inch section okay we're going to begin by placing our comb in here and you want to take that comb and turn it lightly pull as you turn turn and lightly pull turn and lightly pull, turn, and lightly pull. Now I'll tell you now, this is one of those things that looks easier than it is. It's going to require a good degree of developing muscle memory, but it gets to where you can quite easily get through there and do that once you get it down. So things you wanna practice, a lot of times I tell people, sit in front of the TV if you must, and practice turning your comb as you work, um, just so you get used to this motion in your hands. The other thing to keep in mind, I prefer to work with a rat tail comb. It doesn't have to be a metal pin one, but a rat tail comb works best in this instance because it's not quite as bulky in your hands as an all purpose. Um, but yeah, and then one other thing that I think is really important for you to know, I'm gonna actually zoom you in for that, is when you get down here at the base, I think a lot of times people always get caught up in the trying to do it and they start doing stuff like this and they come around here and the comb gets stuck and then they're snatching and pulling and they can't quite get it quite right just like how you see there so what i'm going to do is begin by coming in here i want you to just take the corner just the corner of your comb here and we're going to hook that into the hair when you come around i want you to make sure that, that corner is coming under and around under and around. Once you get past that first starting point, you're generally pretty good to go. But if you're not making sure that you're coming under, a lot of times what happens is you are going to end up catching in that hair. So a lot of times I see people where they come in here and they just start spinning. And when they come around, the corner of that comb is not coming under, it's coming straight across right back into the section that you did or right back into the bottom of the section that you did. So you really have to pay attention to that first spin, making sure you're coming under and around. Another key point is if you're planning on doing this to lock someone's hair, uh, you're doing it as starter locks, twist to the right or clockwise because that's the way that most locticians are going to maintain those locks is by taking it in that right direction. It's kind of like an unwritten standard 
within locking hair, but that way you can just kind of keep up with that. If you end up losing your space and those ends don't quite look polished, go back to where it was last cleaned up, slide your comb back in and just keep on going. It's fine. Okay. Uh, now, if you are doing it more as a style, of course, you can take that hair and go in the opposite direction. And thankfully with this mannequin, she'll go either way. She does give a little tighter in the opposite direction. So if you find that you are a bit better with twisting it counterclockwise, that's fine. Just know that that would be more of a style option, not a locking option. But you can see this mannequin is capable of either one. As always, the mannequin will be linked in the description box down below, uh, as will the leave-in conditioner. And if I can find a link to the uh, foaming wrap, I'll put that in the description box down below as well. I'll tell you now, this is going to take a good degree of practice, so just be patient. And I would honestly recommend if you've got a mannequin or something like that to practice on, do it there first. Um, trying to figure it out and potentially getting the comb stuck in a live person's hair is no fun. So just so you know, watch this back as many times as you need to. I hope this has been really helpful and beneficial. If so let me know in the comments down below. And of course, feel free to let me know what other tutorials you might like to watch. Um, you can check out my two strand twisting tutorial. I have it linked here. And uh, you can also check out uh, some of my other tutorials on the channel if you would like. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, you guys, take care. God bless and stay glam. <laughs> you know I love you, boo. Bye.